Colorado lost a football game yesterday to USC at home. Final score, Colorado 41, USC 48. And they're not into moral victories in Boulder, Colorado. I promise you, Coach Prime, man, that dude wants to win. He does not accept losing. He will not accept losing ever. That's the way he's built. That's what he's building Colorado on. But even so now, it's hard to look at yesterday's game and not feel just a little bit like Colorado stent some form of a statement to the rest of the college football landscape that you should be on notice. And I know there was already some sort of sentiment around Colorado previously with what they had done against Nebraska and against TCU, but playing a team like USC is a different level of competition. And again, I think a statement was made by Coach Prime and company. So we'll break it all down really quickly, though. Make sure you're subscribed right here. It's college football. It's only college football and nothing else ever. All right? No agenda, no additives, no high fructose corn syrup, just ball and only ball. So we appreciate y'all for that. Second thing, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, at JD Pakel to stay up with everything that we got going on on this show. So thank you in advance for that. Thing I was impressed with from Colorado yesterday, outside of them putting up 41 points, like Colorado was down at one point in this game, 34 to 7. And they had every opportunity in the world, every excuse in the world to just kind of mail it in. Oh, well, hey, it is what it is. A lot of us weren't even on this team last year. We're just, we're, we're new here. It's, you know, we're, we're a first year team. We're going to figure it out. USC is really good. They got a Heisman Trophy quarterback. Like, we don't have Travis Hunter. Nobody would have actually blamed Colorado either. Nobody would have just brought the hammer down on Colorado. I mean, they, they were 21 and a half point underdogs in this game. Nobody would have said, that much of a word if Colorado had lost this game by that margin because that was kind of what was expected after what happened against Oregon. And also, the game against Oregon, you were wondering, okay, how are they going to respond in this game? How are they going to respond when they get down 34-7? They fought till the very end. They fought till the very end. I'll tell you what, man, it's easy to fake it when you're 3-0. You know, it's easy to fake it when you got college game day coming to town. You can't fake it when you just got yourself beat up the week before on the road in front of the entire country with a whole cinematic recap highlighting your lowlights, and then you're down at the crib. You can't hide at that point. At that point, you find out what you have under the hood. And I was extremely impressed by this operation by Coach Prime. They found a way to pull themselves up by, them, by their bootstraps, locked in, went the rest of the way, and made this a really, really competitive football game against one of the best teams in the country, one of the best offenses in the country. They held their own. I'll say this too, good teams, they have guys step up at different points during the year because their coaching staff, one, evaluates talent and personnel that way, and two, they get them ready to play. Omarion Miller had zero catches going into this game. Zero. None. In this game alone, had seven catches, 196 yards, and a touchdown. Cormani McClain stepped up, stepped in after being more or less kind of publicly challenged by Coach Prime. I thought he played really well as well. To have these guys succeed, I think, says a lot about what's going on behind closed doors at Colorado. Now, Colorado, obviously, not a finished product, but just some things that you can kind of put a pin in and say, hmm, interesting. Hmm, maybe they are doing some things the right way at Colorado. Maybe it's not just all press conferences and sunglasses. Wouldn't you know it? I also think that uh, Sean Lewis, offensive coordinator for Colorado, has been the unsung hero of this operation the entirety of the season. I thought he called a game yesterday, y'all. 41 points to find a way to get Shadur Sanders different outlet throws and, and to get the ball out of his hands quick. When I tweeted this out, I had a lot of people say, well, he, he cost them the game with that final drive. Poor clock management. What is Sean Lewis doing? And I think we need to kind of use some context here when we evaluate Sean Lewis in this offense. Sean Lewis is calling an offense with a really good quarterback, Shadur Sanders, with some really good skill position players, but he's calling an offense left-handed in the sense that he is not able to deal with a, a full offensive line that you would expect from an FBS football team. And that's pretty much what we've been able to see from Colorado to this point in the year. He's having to call this offense accounting for what his offensive line can't do. Don't get it twisted. That's what good offensive coordinators do. They account for their personnel. But what they don't have up front kind of limits the playbook. It limits the long developing deep shots you're able to call because you're worried about your quarterback holding it for more than three Mississippis. So to score 41 points 
and this is no shade again on the offensive line of Colorado it kind of is what it is right now for them to play the way they did in this game you got to be extremely impressed by him by Shudor Sanders and by the rest of the skill position players and quite frankly by the offensive line to execute I just talked about the offensive line what they didn't do how about what they did do they executed to, to a degree where they ran for almost 200 yards. So the run game blocking was a lot better. Again, you worry about protecting your quarterback. That's where the real concerns lie. They made it a game in space. They found a way to get one-on-one matchups that they liked and they executed to perfection. They played their kind of style of football. They made it their kind of style of game. They weren't interested in making it a different kind of ball game that was going to try and, you know, play against what USC was doing. It was Colorado playing Colorado style of football and Shadour Sanders executing the way that he does. 30 for 45, 371, four touchdowns, had the one pick. But even so, I was really impressed with Sean Lewis, was really impressed by the way Shadour Sanders uh, executed that game plan. I think there's a lot of good things to take away now. So again, there is no moral victories. None. None. Nobody in, in Boulder, Colorado is smiling today because they kept it close with USC they're not there to cover spreads. Like, that's not what it's about. I understand that. Coach Prime understands that. Every single individual in that locker room understands that. But going forward now, I think they did make a statement to the rest of the college football world. I think you woke up today and I think you viewed Colorado maybe a little bit differently than we did going into yesterday's game. Because going into yesterday's game, we had that snapshot of what Oregon did to him. Oregon running power left, power right, going for two, pretty much doing whatever they wanted offensively. Yesterday, I saw a team that competed and responded against one of the best teams in the country, against one of the best, if not the best player in the country, in Caleb Williams, and a team that, again, the response mechanism from them was not just there, it was strong. After that game, to respond in this game, to go down in this game and respond in this game, like I was really impressed by the way that they handled that. They're dangerous in the sense that with the talent they have on the perimeter and who they have playing quarterback, especially when they get Travis Hunter back. I don't think you define Colorado as a tier one Pac-12 football team. I don't think that's what they are right now. And I don't think the majority of people that have watched Colorado pretend that's what they are right now. And that's okay because it's only year one. But I think you can see they have personnel and they have a style of play that can really mess with some of those tier one teams. Like I think if you're Colorado today, as opposed to yesterday, you view some of these games on your schedule just a little bit differently. It went from maybe bracing for impact for the rest of Colorado's schedule, if you're a Colorado fan, then after yesterday's game against USC saying, oh, okay, what can we do against some of these teams? What can we do the rest of this slate? What does it look like? If we can hang with USC, I don't know. Let's see what happens here the rest of the way. So I'm excited to watch that. I think they legitimized themselves in a very real way with the way they played against USC. Now, again, USC has their own issues defensively, but to keep pace with that offense, I think there's a lot of positives that you need to make sure you give Colorado credit for. Again, the same weaknesses we assumed they had, they still have. They still have issues against the run game. I fully believe that. They still have issues protecting Shador Sanders. I think they know that in-house. They are not a finished product. But for them to respond the way they did, I'll say it again, the response, the response, the response, that was the most impressive thing to me about this Colorado team yesterday. And then for the talent to show itself the way that it did against USC, I'm excited to see how they finish the season. I say finish the season, we're not even to the halfway mark just yet, but with what this team has under the hood, again, I think they legitimize a lot of what they can be. Coach Prime said during his post-game press conference, we're still searching for our, for our identity. And once they find that identity, I think it's going to be something that uh, whether it's this year or next year, or heck, maybe even the year after that, whenever they do find that identity, I think it's going to be something to be reckoned with across the college football landscape because he's going to attract talent. They've already had the proof of concept out there now. We said it preseason. If they have proof of concept, if they show what Colorado has works, bringing in these portal guys, Coach Prime is a head coach, if that works, it's not going to take a long time for these high school kids to jump on board. So Colorado lost the game, but again, I fully believe made a statement to the rest of the college football landscape. Make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at JD Pacal. Hey, listen, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We're going to keep this party rolling and we will see y'all next time. 
Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.